Ich bin nicht mehr so gut. 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 Ich bin Hi guys, uh, welcome to SMS Retro. So this is something new we are venturing into, which is our uh, visual podcast. Yeah. And we'll just be talking about any random topic that comes our way. Uh, we will be ta- talking our mind out. It'll be mostly unfiltered. <laughs> yeah. It'll not be like our reels or our uh, mm. SMS sessions that go about the videos that you see, the content that you see. Yeah. It's, it's uh, going to be a more, let's say, as much as we would like to be, let's say, not serious all the time. I think this brings out an element of SMS where we'll probably talk about things more unplugged, kind of unplugged from SMS, more non-chill. Session. Yeah, we, we are still deciding the yeah the, the name for this. And like sometimes we're deciding like SMS retro or sometimes. So SMS dude, okay, unplugged. wait. So so yeah. Well, so we first of first of I think over one of the SMS sessions, you came up with this SMS unplugged thing right yeah. and yeah then I was like yo unplugged is like so many people use it like for so many podcasts so we thought okay what about okay obviously we looked up synonyms yeah. <laughs> we looked up synonyms and shit but yeah so we just thought okay how about you know we look into ourselves kind of a thing so it was more like we're gonna be as vulnerable as possible with this whole series right we're gonna be as what do you say, frank, as candid as possible. Candid, so, I think, yeah. candid is the right word. So, it was more, yeah. So, we came up with this retrospective kind of a thing. So, yeah, I mean, that's where the whole SMS retro is kind of like clicking off of. But, yeah, we just don't know whether we'll actually stick to it. But, yeah, let's see. This is the uh, episode named uh, Pilot. Yeah. <laughs> Not inspired from Top Gun. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Non-chill. If you're watching this in the future, Top Gun just released <laughs> a few <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> they might not get the reference. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. To Top, be... Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Yeah. It, it, how many years later is it? Uh, it's 36 years later. Yeah, it was released in the year 1986. We were, both of us weren't born. <laughs> Wait, fun fact, I just watched it like three weeks before Top Gun. I watched Top Gun. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure that nostalgic trip that people must have got off of it man like i'm pretty sure it must have been a good kick mm-hmm. but like i watched it like three weeks later and believe you me like it was really like you really felt connected and top gun maverick by far one of the best movies i've ever watched like really better than the i watched it twice original right? yeah i mean better 100%. than the first part yeah, like because the whole CGI thing has become way like. No, other than CGI, like there's obviously the there plot. There's hardly any CGI. That's the funny thing because the technology in itself has like come so far off in terms of you know the entire thing. So I watched it the second time in IMAX, no flex, but yeah, yeah, it was worth the IMAX. You know, not like like Doctor Strange. Dude, that was like a waste of money in IMAX. It was oh, the second party. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, not the first. Not the first. Not the first. Yeah, not the first one. The first one was a trip, man. Did you watch Top Gun though? Yeah, yeah, I like, watched it. You didn't watch the first one. I had watched the first one, but it was a long time ago, so I didn't. But yeah, I can feel you. Yeah, I can feel you. Yeah. I should have. Yeah, but all things considered, yeah, that movie is like for sure. I don't know, man. I'm kind of feeling like new the other movies that are coming in, like. For example, Avatar, you know, that's kind of like... Yeah, it's very mellow. <laughs> we don't know, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, see, part. people go... I mean, as far as I know, I missed out on the first Avatar in the theatre. And I kind of regret it because uh, the whole scenic element of it was the thing. And I regret not watching it in the theatres. Do people go for 3D nowadays? I don't think they're releasing 3D movies because... No, now when you check on the list, right, there's always some 3D options Yeah. for the movies. Yeah. No, See, it was, a, it, was a, it was like a fad, I guess. In I guess everybody jumped the train. Or yeah. bandwagon, as you said. Uh, like like ripped jeans. <laughs> like what? Like ripped jeans. Ripped jeans? Dude, what? I don't ripped know. jeans is still an it thing. Now it's cargo. <laughs> you know, man. Now it's cargo. Ah. Yeah. But yeah, so... <laughs> so, yeah, you know. so this I mean, is this is how it's gonna be like we're gonna yeah, wear our track a lot probably yeah. yeah i mean see this is like we said a pilot session yeah. so you yeah it's gonna probably for the next few sessions we're gonna have much more let's say 
probably we're gonna have people for this we're gonna have some people joining us maybe let's see uh, but for now it's gonna explore the whole element of uh, what we haven't discovered before through SMS so maybe some of you out there who are not very comfortable enough coming on screen we would like to connect with you too as well uh, you being a stranger us being strangers to you and you being strangers to us I think this will sort of uh, we're just building up as we speak yeah. actually we just think that this could make be make be a bridge to fill that gap so yeah why not uh, right uh, uh, if, if those who those who know us we have this zoom thing which limits at 40 <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah uh, the recording sorry what the call doesn't last beyond 40 minutes yeah. unless you are a uh, you're a pro member or some, some, some premium membership like, you would yeah. buy and uh, we are not premium <laughs> members unfortunately of zoom yet yeah yet uh, but yeah again as he said uh, this is going to be like one aspect of sms which i feel like uh, is more us uh, i'm not saying it's the rest of it is less of us but what i'm saying is this is more as he said candid yeah so it's more like the yeah, this is going to be less uh, filtered less edited and most of it is yeah again none of what we have spoken so far is scripted and none of our sessions have ever been scripted as well we've went through no. 99% of yeah, what yeah, we've done pretty much yeah, yeah. so pretty this is going to be that but you will be able to see it without the edits without the cuts you'll you'll hear us uh, yeah. you know our thought processes everything going on as we speak um yeah and we have a few other ideas lined up this is again uh, the pilot so um, we'll see how it goes we'll see maybe we'll make a series maybe it's going to be a one off episode who knows we don't know let's see just just so try it yeah. yeah all things said and done man like i'll tell you what let's probably set up a pilot session and uh, episode or whatever and you know it all the more makes sense for us to for those who are new maybe not many but those who are new to sms or you know probably who have not really gone through the page so of course we have started out of instagram right like many other uh, influencers or influencers we are in no form of influencers guys uh, we are no let's say tiktok kind of dance kind of thing maybe we will do it for the cloud but at this was not my <laughs> no no but at this point at this point we just like if you guys kind of, have seen mukaram in our some of our previous sessions he can dance Okay, just say. that's not just the real dance, by the way. It's just very again moving on, cloud. moving on, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, no. So, so yeah, I mean, so our purpose of actually starting SMS was more to beat COVID, right? For those who couldn't really beat COVID, COVID, well, we tried to find solace in whatever we could do. But our main purpose was to, of course, connect people from different backgrounds and. Uh, and and different cultures and you know sort of bridge that gap. So we come from a very uh, let's say not a very multicultural team, but uh, of course you know a very uh, creative team. You know uh, yeah, like yeah. The, like you said you know we winged most of the stuff. We with you know we weren't we didn't get out there to be content creators or anything like that. We we just yeah like clicked it with people. You know that was our bottom line as to. what we are today to small you know like initiative but with great vision i think yeah like we have <laughs> great vision <laughs> got to start somewhere we right? have to yeah we have to promote ourselves also yeah. no but i think the best part about uh, how we started is that we were we were literally uh, brave and we were not yeah. thinking too much about what we were doing and i think that's what made us unique you know we didn't we didn't yeah. sit and go through like okay now if this happens this happens this happens no we just like okay you know what we have this idea we're going to make it work and we did along the way we made it work and uh, i feel like initially our intentions and even now maybe were also selfish in the sense that we want to meet new people yeah you know and through it you will meet new people as well so even now it's the same uh, it's all about again connecting with strange networking with strangers instead of just connecting uh, networking with strangers with people from different walks of life And um, yeah, I'm not technical difficulty over. Like <laughs> As <that>. always, <laughs> we will never not have any technical difficulty. You know, oh, because happening? we were always trying new I'm stuff. I'm not even recording this. Yes. Oh. It's 
okay. We all got the audio recording there. Yeah. So we'll try. <laughs> Thank Sorry. God for the pilot episode. Thank God for it. <laughs> yeah, we just had uh, we had some equipment and stuff set up, but we never used it. But it's okay. We we got that sorted. So it's fine. You know, I now you like can hear us loud and clear. I look like Hitman was a bow. Yeah, actually. Oh. Bow. What did you say? Bow. Look at him. Okay. Where were you, bro? Yeah, you yeah. saying what? Yeah. Like again. So yeah. basically, the entire setup was to network with strangers. from different walks of life and you know see um staying here in uae it's like a boon of a platform for us because there are so many people from so many different countries and so many different cultures and backgrounds here uh you know name any country you have you know a few people here from that country so uh you know uh, growing up here and growing up in the schools or in universities and in, uh in the companies that we work in for we've noticed like you know there's a lot of different thoughts and different way of thinking from different cultures you know or some people are open to certain things some people are open to certain different things and uh most of it brings with it an element of surprise you know and an element of learning as well so um i guess that's what we're trying to that's one one aspect of what we're trying to aim for you know learning about different cultures meeting different people networking with different backgrounds and uh, maybe in the and you know we can show that you know as much as we are different from each other we are still all the same you know basic element yeah so that's probably the gist of what we are trying to achieve in terms of vision in terms of what he what mukaram said earlier as a great vision of course the creative part of it is completely different you know uh, he has different views uh, i have different views mansoor who is uh, in canada right now he also has different views and the fusion of all of this is the content that you see eventually on our page which i i believe most of you do enjoy <laughs> and get back to us about you know the different uh, levels of editing and the, the production stuff like that and we really love that we really do uh, love the support that we get and honestly if it wasn't for any of you guys we we wouldn't be uh, trying to uh, branch this out we wouldn't be trying to grow this up what started as a fun project for us now we are planning to take it up more seriously and you know plan a lot more different types of content just for you guys so that you know uh, we hear from you guys we hear your feedback and uh, we take it up we think about it and then we go along different other avenues that we can explore yeah so like that was a lot wow. but i think <laughs> I, i couldn't have said it better in fact I, yeah uh, all already said guys started off as a fun project we wanted to do something you know different from our work lives and things like that so it was it was yeah i mean you know like for now like we said 99% we winged it but we want to take it a step further we want to break it to maybe 70% winging and 30% planning <laughs> or maybe even 50 50 i think before we even started any of this phase of this yeah. we planned so much we yeah. never planned like, this it's much like before. you know building castles in the air but you know what if you if you don't dream high then you don't you know dream at all because I mean, probably you do i'm just saying like you know it just becomes very difficult to really get on to something if you don't envision it so it's really important to build castles in the air please do it but then action upon it right uh, that's where i think most of the people even us you know we we tend to lack over there Uh, because very it becomes very difficult to actually work uh, on something uh, which takes additional or you have to go the extra mile it becomes really difficult but covid taught us something where you know we have more to it there's more to it more to life than what we thought was before you know like already uh, prior covid or uh, you know when when I, when i when i told you guys about this like you know or you know uh, with strange to make stranger you know like okay the initial plan was we go for a trip and do things and do do a campfire and we so you I know, remember signed up for it never got much so <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah yeah fun fact yeah it was like um yeah so when we i mean when i thought of it first uh, it was like you guys wouldn't believe it like it was yeah i mean it was what in the poll i swear to god i thought at least the five people replied to it right be back in 2018 right so i swear to god dude if five people would have replied to it I was I was gonna be happy. Sixty people replied, and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Yeah, sorry, I'll leave that. But anyway, yeah, it was like fifty, what, sixty, fifty, sixty people, and it was like, 
Okay, the shit got just serious, you know. And that was like Insta food, right? So I was like, the story got expired and I, I, I pursued it for a week or two, I think. Yeah, and then I was like, it was overwhelming as hell because then I got shit at work and yeah, life catches up. So then, yeah, so so then fast forward what, 2022, right? 2022. Uh, in, in when COVID was it COVID year, right? Yeah, so before that, rewind. Yeah, 2020 COVID, uh, this guy phones me up and he's like, bro, we need to do some shit. What the fuck happened? Right? Because I'll tell you how that went. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, from December 2018, when he started this idea and he got the Insta poll and everything done, since then until now. Uh, <laughs> so, so, one out of 60 was this guy, okay? <laughs> Until like April 2020, I was <laughs> falling up. With oh yeah, you sessions. messaged me in the middle as well. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was like, Can you stay tuned. <laughs> Something's cooking up. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Biggest scam, man. Oh my god. Every time coming soon. You have something planned for you as well. Give me a couple of weeks. I'm doing something. <laughs> yeah. No, it used to. Oh god. So it used to be this like burst of you know like when you get free like you know how it is when you get like super free at work like you get this. Dude, I gotta do something with my life, you know. <laughs> and then you get this burst of shit, and you can't, you won't, you aren't, you're not able to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for every, I, if I show you my note notes, right? They're like shit ton of ideas because I can't sleep sometimes mm. because of this. And I'm like, bro, you know, till further, I'll just stay awake. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we can do this. So it's like flowchart of plans. But the problem is when it comes down to execution, actual feasibility of it happening. It becomes very difficult to actually in, in that frame of mind because then life catches up. So this is what I probably I don't know. I tried pulling up this notepad from when I like really did this whole flowchart mm. thing, but really it never goes according to plan. It never really does. And then yeah, so we yeah, continue with sorry I just interrupted. Yeah, continue. No 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 you go and flow man. Continue. And, yeah, yeah no so so yeah so this guy was like and, and again I always say this I'm so glad this happened. So. Fast forward April 2020, yeah, April yeah. 20. So, yeah, he messages me again. He's like, Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, so then I was like, Okay, we need to get on call about it. So, we got on call, and then uh, I okay, I just remember like specs of the whole thing that happened. But it was more about listen, I need people, right? Like, I need people who can dedicate shit because I can't do this alone. I don't, I can't do this shit alone, right? And at that time, the idea was to meet people in person. Physical, because, yeah, yeah, COVID w wasn't a thing back then yeah. until uh, December 2019. Yeah, yeah, until shit, when yeah. we started. Shit, yeah, shit, <laughs> yeah, <whatever. laughs> shit at the fan, man. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so after that, yeah, and then when uh, we were speaking on call, and Mukarram was like, uh, Man, I have the idea, but how do we proceed now? Like, everyone's locked in. Yeah. I told, Listen, bro, <laughs> COVID is here for at least another two years. <laughs> Easy, bro. Easy, like, and I told him. Uh, so now people are using Zoom more often. Actually, I don't understand why people use Zoom over Skype. Because that's a whole different no, story. Skype right? to went, nah, Teams came instead. Skype was there for a while until. No. So, okay. We'll, we'll that's talk a different story. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we started, uh, uh, you know, we, yeah, we got on a Zoom call itself. <laughs> you know? Was it? We, yeah, yeah, because we were on a Zoom yeah, call itself. Zoom call, yeah, and, uh, Zoom call, yeah. So I told him, listen, Mukaram, we can use this uh, <laughs> idea. <clears throat> we can. Uh, connect with people over a zoom call we can connect with strangers over a zoom call and we can talk about any any random thing that's going yeah, on because people are stuck at home people want an outlet uh, yeah. to connect people want an outlet of creativity because there's so much you can do at home but there's also the limitations of doing a lot of things like but, of but, doing things at yeah, home but the funny thing is like you know i mean personally myself i did could not stay at home not more not even a day i had to be out every single day even if i didn't have plans with my friends i'm like fuck this i'm going out i don't give a shit i'm going out having some chairs but then yeah covid taught us how to bloody stay at home and i am in a way pros and cons but i am grateful for that because of course sms was born out of yeah uh, necessity yeah yeah i guess necessity yeah. for us Necessity for so many people out there, which we never thought. Bro, the first message, uh, the first uh, session, man, like, we winged it. We were like, so we nervous. We had a plan. We didn't wing it. We had like few things. Yeah. But the kind of response we got from the people who were there in it, like, bro, I never expected like, and then from there it just clicked. 
and then of course like we had like this creative genius by the name of Mansoor who is our third musketeer who is not in this uh, session or episode, episode or whatever uh, let's see what it goes on to be but this guy of course like as we matured the editing thing that we required from him we never expected it actually yeah. we never expected it but yeah the guy is a creative genius so yeah like it's it's very difficult to really like i mean this is one thing yeah it's very difficult to whatever we do in a session to really take, take that part out and really do it of course we had like you drilling down the entire clips and shit and starring and all that shit you know do you know what the best part about the three of us is that we didn't look for any qualities in each other to be to become a team we just wanted to do this yeah and i think that's the beauty of it i don't know see if you think about any startup idea out there right you always look out for the right people and the right person yeah. right. it's always about are if i had that kind of person but yeah i think you're right for us we never really like yeah. we just wanted people who were dedicated and you know believed in the whole idea of it. yeah that's, and we're on the it. same page and But, uh, and again, uh, the three of us have never host. I mean, you've hosted in university, yeah. and uh, the, but the three of us had not had this experience of hosting a video call session. Never. We, we none of us knew how to edit videos as such. Mukaram, Mansoor, I had a little bit of an idea. Even I didn't know anything. And all three of us put all of our combined efforts in yeah. hosting and in trying to edit a video. Obviously, like I couldn't pursue it because like my laptop wasn't uh, supporting me. But these guys did, and then the content you see out there. I mean, I remember when Mansoor used to send in the clips on the Google Drive, and then we both would like go. We both would sit like that to see what he's put up. Yeah, us. it's a bit narcissistic yeah. on our side, but then <laughs> yeah, we go and we, we had to. Yeah. We see the videos, and then we'd we'd be laughing. We'd be relishing those. Yeah. yeah. But the first cut never made it to you guys. I'm just saying. Yeah, that was a bit <laughs> but, raw. Yeah, the first cuts were never obviously because we need to like uh, you know polish off a few things yeah, you know naturally so, yeah yeah here and there a few days. But the first cut was always the funniest and it was always for us. Hmm. Okay, that's that's a bit selfish I guess, <laughs> but but yeah I mean I guess yeah we have like shit ton of recordings and yeah now we just go and we've developed that kind of like what do you say uh, wavelength. <laughs> that we just don't care if you go live you know because we know we'll flick right off the bat and yeah i mean i guess yeah guys uh, we are probably getting to the close of this place where we are sitting uh, no names allowed uh, right uh, but it's a wonderful place uh, i think yeah we'll do more of these sessions if you guys like it or episodes maybe yeah uh, let's see how things go we have to uh, get used to be calling this episodes now because yeah. uh, <laughs> It's the but honestly, guys, it's it's very like raw from like unfiltered, like you said. Well, we came with a plan, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we are talking about totally different things right now. We yeah. came, we came with uh, a mindset that we we'll talk about certain topics. Yeah. When the video started, we we're just like the, yeah, we everything just, flew yeah, out of the you know my yeah, shit. <laughs> so yeah, guys. I mean, whoever is watching this video, thank you so much, uh, and whoever has been a part of our journey. uh you know so far thank you thank you uh, as well because uh, without you guys of course uh, you know we wouldn't have come here recording a video which we thought you guys would listen to yeah yeah for sure and yeah so i think without all that support this would have finished by last yeah, year 100% all the yeah, sessions 100%. we just like okay like, people are moving last on, year like, yeah 100% 100% i mean of course we made a relaunch it come back or whatever you want to call it So yeah, uh, I guess uh, I think we are interested. If you probably after looking at this, if you love our content or like or whatever, it's yeah. follow us on Insta and maybe YouTube as well. And yeah, let's see how this thing is go. This yeah. thing goes, guys. We'll see what we post and we'll keep you posted. And, and also, uh, if you if you take away anything from our videos, if you have any kind of feedback, yeah, or if you just want to talk, just DM us. Just send us a hi. Just send us like hey hey guys or hey strangers if you will. And uh, just connect with us. I mean, we love to uh, network, and that is just why this platform is for. Exactly, okay. it's for you guys. It's for us guys as well, but uh, mainly to network with all the different beautiful people out there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and so guys, this is our first episode. Yeah. So the, the pilot. Love us, say. like us, follow us. Yeah. And if you, if you find us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That's good. <laughs> Looking out for the next episode. <laughs>